close your eyes, focus on your breath, and let go of everything else. Anything else that comes up in the mind, just say, not interested, not interested, not right now. Maybe later, but not right now. The Buddha has some rules for right speech, and they apply to the thinking when you're meditating. The first question is, something comes up, is it true? Well, only if it's true should you be interested in it. And then the next question is, is it beneficial? And only if it's true and beneficial should you be interested. And then the next one is, is this the right time and place? And if it doesn't pass those three tests, then you can just put it aside. To be quicker, of course, you should just make up your mind that while you're meditating, this is the right time and place only for thoughts related to the meditation. Anything else, it, this is not the time for it. If you have some important work you're doing and some ideas come up about your work, just tell yourself later, at the after the meditation, and we'll entertain those thoughts. And if they're really good, they'll come back. You don't have to worry about losing good ideas. Because right now there are only one kind of there's only one kind of thinking that's really relevant, and that's the relevant the thinking related to your breath. And the keeping the mind with the breath. That you can think about. Ask yourself, is the mind really comfortable with the breath? If it's not, then you can change. Change the breathing, change the way you breathe. You might find that as you breathe in long, there's a lot of tension at, toward the end of the breath. Well, ask yourself, can you release that tension and still keep on breathing in? If you can, then you find that it's a really relaxing breath, and it goes a lot deeper than it might normally, and is a lot more gratifying than your normal breath. If that doesn't work, then just try adjusting the breath in different ways until you find something that you really like, and then just stick with it until you don't like it anymore. Then you can change again. So the whole point here is that you want to find something the mind likes to be with. And by adjusting the breath, you give it something to do, because you adjust it a bit, and then you watch the results. And that keeps you more engaged in the present moment. It's not like you're just tying the mind down to the present moment, but you're giving something to draw it into the present moment. That kind of thinking is useful. So an important part of meditation is not so much that you stop thinking, it's you learn how to think wisely and think on target. After all, directed thought and evaluation, that's part of the first jhana. Without that, you can't really settle down. Okay, After you've settled down, then you can start dropping the levels of thought one by one by one. But for the time being, you've got to think about the breath, think about your mind with the breath, what you can do to keep them together. That kind of thinking is useful, and this is the right time and place for it. 